Pray for me to get the contract, dear. I really want that contract. Okay, I will. Okay, babe. I am late. See you when I come back in the evening. Yes. Hello, Miss Rose. Are all the necessary documentations for the business contract we are negotiating this afternoon ready? Yes, sir. Everything is ready. Okay. That's good. I am almost at the office. Lord, please give me this contract today. I have really worked hard to get here. Show me mercy. Once I get this contract, it is done. Matt will become rich. Rich, 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 ooh. The first thing I will do is buy another house in a rich neighborhood. Buy for myself a car and buy for my wife a nice car too. I just want to be like Kyle. He is so accomplished in doing so well. I want my business to grow and become bigger than Kyle's. We have come to the end of the presentation. A few moments later. Sir, thank you for the opportunity you have given this company to do business with you. I assure you, you will not regret the decision. You are welcome. I believe in you Mr. Matt Johnson. You are welcome back dear. How did it go? We got the contract. I am so happy. I give God the glory. Oh, glory to God. I am so tired after a long day. I should go and sleep. We first have to pray isn't it? Then you can go and sleep. Please, go ahead and pray. I don't have energy to pray. I am extremely exhausted. Good night. My husband, I am so happy that you are getting contract after contract and your business is doing so well. But I have one thing that bothers my heart a lot. What is it woman? I have noticed you no longer have time for God. You don't pray, you don't read the Bible, you rarely go to church on Sundays even the Wednesday Bible study class we used to go with you, you stopped attending it. I know chasing money is not bad but I think you are doing it at the expense of your own walk with God. Something has to be done, you have to start managing your schedules properly and putting God first. Women women. What is wrong with women? If I am currently working so hard to provide a comfortable life for this family, you are saying I am over chasing money, if I stop being a responsible man, you will say I am a useless man. What do women sincerely want in this life? If you think I am not man enough to be the head of this home, take the lead now or you can be praying for me. Right now I am in a stage in my career when I am very focused, by the end of this year, I should have bought several houses, I also want to drive a Lamborghini by December. It is not bad for children of God to be rich and bring glory to God through the riches. All I am saying is, do not be distracted by the affairs of this life. You know Satan has succeeded in distracting many in our time today, Christians are so engaged with many affairs of life forgetting God, and putting him at the last in what they prioritize. I don't want you to be like that. Are you done now? My time is up. I must head to the office now. Yes. See you in the evening. Matt continues to be too busy to give God time. Oh, it's almost midnight. But I must do this. If I don't finish it, this next contract will not be mine. Let me write a good business proposal. Matt is always busy, always looking for new business ideas and new business contracts. He has forgotten God. This went on for a long time. His wife kept praying for him. Oh God, remember Matt, open his eyes, to keep away from distractions, help him to focus again on you, let him not be carried away by the need to gain the whole world, let him not forget you, Lord do something. One night, God spoke to him in a dream. My son, you are too busy, very busy. The day I put you in your mother's womb, I had a well-written plan for your life. You are to be an instrument I will use to bring revival in your generation. You started well but along the way, you have become distracted by earthly achievements, riches and accomplishments that you no longer give time for me. That is how I have sent many into the world to impact their generation, but got distracted by many things, wasting their divine timing upon the face of the earth, and leaving the earth without accomplishing their divine mission and mandate because they got distracted and carried away by the affairs of the world around them. The Christian walk is like a race, an athlete who desires to get the crown must run according to the rules as written in 2 Timothy 2, 5. If that athlete doesn't run according to the rules, he cannot have the crown. Lord, 
Forgive me for allowing distractions to take over me. I know in all things I should put you first, help me my lord to prioritize you in everything. Lord, I am sorry for getting distracted, forgive me, I want to live this life and fulfill your purpose for my life, but if I continue like this, I will live a wasted life, wasting my divine timing and will never fulfill your purpose for my life. Help me my savior, thank you for showing me mercy. The Lord spoke to me through a dream this morning, he was cautioning me on how distracted I am by the affairs of life. It is true, I am too distracted by my job, I am caught up in the rat race, trying to achieve everything, make a name for myself, get great wealth, etc. But only one thing is needful, sitting at Jesus' feet. Yes my husband, in Luke 10 41-42, we discover what Jesus said to Martha, you are too cumbered and distracted by many things, but only one thing is needful, and Mary has found that thing. Mary was seated at Jesus' feet hearing his word in his presence while Martha her sister was busy running all over the place getting distracted by different things. We should never allow distractions of the world to take over us, let us be merry, not distracted but seated at Jesus' feet, hearing his word in his presence. He told me that I am an instrument he wants to use for revival in our last days. It is clear to me that even though Jesus wants to use me, he will not use a man he has not made in the secret place of his presence. If I want to be used by God, that means I must learn to be in his presence, a man of his presence, always seeking his face in prayer and in the word. You are right. God has brought many on earth to achieve his purpose, but just like soldiers sent on a mission who forget their mission and get engaged in many things, many children of God have are like that today. Children of God are only pursuing riches, worldly achievements and forgetting that God has a divine mandate upon their lives. With many leaving the earth with their divine gifts not used. Lord, help, remove us from entanglements and distractions, we want to avail ourselves in the place where you make men who will fulfill your purpose, may we always be located at Jesus' feet, the place of prayer and the place of reading your word, your divine presence. Help us, my brethren, break out of distractions. Are you a Christian who has gotten distracted, such that you don't have time for God, you don't have a daily routine of being in God's presence, you never pray, you don't know where you Bible is or don't own a Bible. Pay attention. God brought you on earth for a purpose, the purpose is not only to chase money and worldly affairs because all these are passing away, you ought to start chasing God too, and reach a point where in all things you prioritize Him. You will have to learn discipline so that in your day-to-day -day life, you make time for God in your daily routine so that you are not distracted from your Maker and all God's purposes for your life will not get realized, hence His purpose will be buried with you once you leave the earth. Beg God for mercy. Today, there are several distractions around us. Our jobs, social media, our businesses, name them. Let us not get distracted and fail to prioritize God in our daily routine. Fix time for your Father O child of God. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.